Hello, my name is Prem Chintalapudi, and I'm a master's student uh, working with Julia Lab at MIT to multi-thread the Julia compiler. So what does this actually mean? So right now, the Julia compiler runs in one thread at a time. And essentially, the way this is achieved is by using a single giant lock over the entire compilation process. This is necessary because within the compiler, there's a number of data structures, such as LVM shared state, optimization pass measures, compiler method tables, and various other um, large globals that are updated during the compilation process. And updating these data structures is not safe for multiple threads because sometimes um, the compiler is in an inconsistent state during those updates. Um, the compiler will eventually become consistent, but in a multi-threaded environment, that inconsistent state could be observed and um, would result in incorrect compilation. So the problem with a single lock is that it limits compilation throughput. Take this um, slightly contrived example of a worker pool of eight threads that start eight different tasks. Each of those different tasks has to be compiled as the first time the compiler is looking at it. And this essentially results in kind of this serial compilation process where one thread gets to compile its task, and then the second thread gets to compile its task, and then the third thread gets to compile its task, and so on, until Finally, the eighth thread is finished compiling and all threads are actually doing useful work. Um, this manifests in a different way uh, in that we can't build Julia with more than one core, um, which results in the final steps of Julia build taking minutes to complete, which slows down development significantly. Um, so given the limited through compilation throughput, um, with a single lock, we'd like to get rid of that single lock and um, kind of improve the compiler in that way. So let's look a bit closer at the structure of the compiler and where it's not thread safe. So each of these stages of the compiler from type inference, um, which is where we assign types to each of our Julia variables, to code gen, where we generate LLVM modules from Julia functions, to the actual optimization of those modules, the generation of machine code, and the emissions of, of machine code into process memory and making it callable and the like. So each of these relies on some form of global data structures, which make it, makes it difficult to run in a multi-threaded environment. So how do we make those data structures more thread safe? So there are a number of strategies to doing so. Number one, we can use finer grained locks rather than using one giant lock over the entire thing. So the advantage of using finer grained locks is that you can compile in multiple threads at different stages at the same time. So thread A can be in stage three, thread B can be in stage um, two, thread C can be in stage one, and they're all happening simultaneously. So you're making more effective use of the cores that you have. A second way to do it is to use pool, is to pool shared resources. So we'll see an example of this in the LLVM optimization pass managers. But essentially the idea is if you, do, if you have these kind of unthread safe resources, but you can make more of them than just one, you can essentially check them out of a pool and check them back in when you're done. Unlike using fi finer grade locks, you can actually have multiple threads running in the same compilation stage at the same time, which improves throughput compared to using staged locks. A final method is to essentially eliminate the offending global data structures and use more localized ones. And this typically allows for more fine, finer protection. And sometimes um, we can reuse some of the bigger locks or we can reuse some different locks on data to protect these data structures rather than having to maintain separate locks or pools um, for the previously shared variables. We'll see an example of this in the cogen stage of the compiler uh, in a couple of slides. So first let's talk about how we made LVM optimization and object generation stages thread safe. So we essentially use resource pooling for both of these stages because the primary things that were not thread safe were the use of a single optimization pass manager in LVM optimization as well as the use of a single LLVM target machine during object file generation. So essentially what we did is we created resource pools that would create these on demand 
Um, and these were both implemented in the same PR 44912 and are actively um, being used on Julia Master today. Um, kind of moving on to Cogen, we'll see the other two, uh, we see the other two kind of strategies in action. So initially the compiler used a large number of global LLVM types and constants. So these are the LLVM types that represent, say, an 8-bit integer or a 32-bit integer, or the zeros for those. And essentially, there were a number of PRs around number 437x, uh, which got rid of those types and constants, and instead derived them from a passed-in context, which was itself made thread-safe through a lock. Another, and then kind of our fine-grained locking strategy came into play when we were trying to make debug info globals um, thread safe. And we essentially locked around those large mapping tables, which was implemented in 45016, um, which also included a number of other thread safe fixes um, to remove a number of site faults on Mac OS. So that's kind of where we are in the, compil in the compiler right now. Um, we have a number of the stages fixed to be more thread safe, but we're not actually, we haven't actually removed the global lock altogether yet. However, in the near future, what we plan to implement is kind of a laser compilation model. So right now, Julia will compile a function when it first gets the types that are going to be passed to the function. However, when compiling the function, it might find other functions that it needs to compile, and thus we'll compile those as well. And what LVM provides is kind of this utility to compile as soon, only when we actually jump to the function, not and defer compilation from when we're actually from, say, a chained compilation during CodeGen. The problem with this is that it requires a multi-threaded object linker, which we don't currently have. Um, but we are working towards that. We are working towards implementation of that on the platforms that Julia supports. The advantage of using this laser compilation model is that um, it moves all three of these stages kind of out of the global uh, compilation lock, which improves throughput because now we can run LLVM optimization, which takes up a decent fraction of time on many different threads at once. Um, furthermore, sometimes we, we have to compile a module because a function might call that method, but then we don't actually call that method because it's an error handler or whatever. And what we see is that during system image build, we can skip up to 25% of the LLVM modules that are actually generated by CodeGen, which reduces the overall cost of compilation altogether. Um, this kind of concludes my talk. Um, thanks for listening.